Welcome everybody, how are you doing? This is Martin, this is Blue Cat Gaming. Um, we're going to test some software called Rested XP. It's for leveling um, in the uh, Burning Crusade classic expansion that's coming up. And you can level um, from 1 to 60, 60 to 70, various modules for this package. And I thought as a long-term WoW player, we're going to do a quick test. Um, just levels 1 to 10 for now um, on Paladins. So we're basically starting this first Paladin. We've got two Paladins, exactly the same. So the very first one, um, what we're doing here, is just the standard uh, route of quests that you would do to get Good to level 10. To so we're basically just going to go um, as, as the game dictates. So that's what you can see here right now. Now, the, the video is kind of in a couple of parts. Uh, the first part is you can see me uh, running around with this Paladin and, you know, doing the quest as you normally would um the thing with this is that um i'm not trying to speed run that's the thing i make perfectly clear um with regards to leveling up normally and also leveling up with the rested xp add-on i am not trying to speed run it i just want to purely see um if using the add-on is any faster something to consider as well we're only doing level 1 to 10 at the moment at another time i might do level 10 to 20 um for a comparison but we're level one to ten remember you're not going to get huge gains because um level one to ten is fairly quick anyway um you know for, for normal kind of casual players like me um so i'm not going to tell you a result yet but the gameplay you're seeing at the minute which we kind of speed him through the normal everyday gameplay those of you who are familiar with wow know all of these early quests <clears throat> where pretty much we aim to get out of um, Northshire Abbey so around level 5 to 6 down to Goldshire and then um, pick up the various quests um, and we're around Aylwyn Forest all the way up to level 10 typically what can I do for you? so I'm just doing all the normal routes and quests uh, down here now <clears throat> what I'm going to do when I'm leveling the Paladin um, using the rested XP um, add-on I am going to blindly follow it. So I'm not going to do what I think I should be doing. I'm going to do what the add-on tells me to do. So if it tells me to go somewhere, even if I think it's strange, I'll go there. It tells me to do something, you know, I'll do it. Um, because that's the whole point. The rested XP add-on, for anyone who doesn't know, um, um, is an add-on made by um, various world champions, speedrunners. Um, so for them, you know, that they, they can level up a lot faster. So I'm not trying to race. I'm just trying to see, am I faster with the add-on or am I faster doing it my own way? Something else to remember, the add-on actually does tell you exactly where to go, but you'll see that in a minute. Um, but for now, you know, um, these are just the highlights of me running around um, doing the quests um, in, should we say, normal mode. So running around, leveling up. Uh, normally, when I play, and I'm just kind of not in a hurry, um, every time, you know, I ding within sort of reasonable sort of time scale, I try and um, get to um, do my training. So every, every second level, so level two, four, six, eight, I normally try and get my training so that I've got the extra spells or skills or whatever, um, you know, to take with me and use straight away. What so that's my normal um, play style. As you can see here, learning more skills. Like I said, this um, first part of uh, the video is going to be shorter because you don't really need to see me, you know, the amount of time I'm spending going from level 1 to 10 when it's something we've all probably done hundreds of times. And if you're a new player, well, the only thing you really need to see is the comparison, um, you know, by using the add-on or by not using it. The add-on's also pretty good because, again, if you are new, it shows you exactly where to go, what to do. Anyway, here we go. Just normal stuff around Elwyn Forest. I mean, I don't play Alliance anymore. I haven't played Alliance since Burning Crusade came out and Blood Elves came out first time round back in whenever, well, 2007, 2008, whenever it was. Um, <clears throat> I've never played Alliance since, really. So I, I'm, I'm a full-on Horde player. So this um, kind of memories for me coming back and um, playing a Paladin. Good My first ever you. character when I got World of Warcraft back in 2005 was, um, was a human you? Paladin. And I played <clears throat> played Alliance all the way up to raiding Zolgarub and AQ 20 and 40. Um, and at that point then, um, 
kind of Burning Crusaders uh, coming out. And as, as soon as I made a Blood Elf, I, I then mained a Blood Elf and never really looked at my alliance ever again. But there you go. So what I did, as um, soon as I'd... The, the plan was, as soon as I hit level 10, I was going to log off wherever I was. I had to just kill this last mob, of course, as I pulled two. But the plan was, log off um, as soon as I am. Don't, you know, stone it back anywhere. Just literally log off. In case I want to carry up the leveling, then I can carry on with them both. Um, but here you go. So this first one, as you saw, two hours and 24 minutes. Just kind of um, following as the game dictates. So I wasn't trying to speed run, wasn't trying to level fast. It was just standard play. Wasn't going slow, wasn't going quick. Standard play. So two hours, 24. So now the next thing was um, using the other Paladin um, with the, uh, there you go, the ultra fast leveling guide from Rested XP. As you can see, it's an add-on. It's straight there. You literally select the part you want, 1 to 11. Uh, works for all um, classes and races. That arrow, you can drag it wherever you see fit. Um... So as you can see, I'm just positioning things how I kind of like them. I didn't really want the arrow there. I moved it. You can make the arrow bigger and smaller and all of that. Um, but there you go. That's pretty much it. You follow it step by step. So you follow the arrow and, uh, you know, what it tells you to do in the stage. So all the things you would normally do, like I wouldn't normally delete my half stone there. Um, but that made sense. Get rid of it and get more bag space. You don't need a half stone while you're doing this anyway at this point of the game. So um, <clears throat> it is just a case of following this. And there'll be some things that are the same, um, some things that are different. I mean, I'll mention now, one of the quests that this um, basically tells you not to take to is uh, Millie's Harvest. I did that last time round when I was leveling 1 to 10 at the beginning of the video. I, I did Millie's Harvest quest. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's where you go around the back where all the um, bandits and that are. There's these barrels. Um, and you have to try and uh, clear the area and get the barrels. Um, <clears throat> so I, I did that last time, but I, because this is speed leveling, um, and like I said, I'm not doing it to level fast um, in terms of breaking world records. I'm just doing it to level faster than I normally would. Um, so one of the things this tells you, don't do mini harvest. Don't, don't take that quest. Um, you'll see that soon. But for now, you can tell you, you know, you've, you've got to kill things. Just, most of it's the same. You do stuff, the arrows point where you've got to go. It'll tell you if you need to grind extra mobs. Um, so you can just uh, basically keep an eye on it there. While we're playing. I mean, the beauty of a paladin. They're pretty resilient classes, to be honest, especially when they're them. Um, in Burning Crusade, I think paladins are awesome. Um, when I was leveling, uh, yeah, going back 13 years ago, whatever, when I was leveling my Blood Elf Paladin, um, I used to think it was brilliant, you know, just tagging as many mobs as you wanted almost and uh, consecrate and then just stand there and out survive them. So you wouldn't kill any particular mob fast, but you could have four or five mobs um, and just wear them all down. I mean, again, I've. Um, you know sped the video up a bit in terms of uh there's no point in watching me just doing the boring grind so <clears throat> i've kind of taken bits out of the video here and there just uh, you know to make it a bit quicker so you can see what's going on How like i said you? the main thing is always follow the arrow that little blue arrow see you can later. position it wherever you want now, it tells you everything you need to do. It'll tell you if you want a vendor, your trash. It tells you if you need to set a half stone somewhere. You know, it tells you if you need to take a profession. And by the way, one thing I should point out with these speed leveling things, it's not about um, leveling up your professions and your first aid and, and whatever on the way. This is just about, you know, leveling, let's just say, from 1 to 60 as fast as you can. Um, that, that, that's what it's about. Um, I do use this now on um, a character that I'm leveling up for Burning Crusade. Um, I've got a mage on a horde side, a blood elf mage. But the thing is, with that one, I'm playing it properly, so I'm also doing my prof professions as I'm going um, and skilling up professions and stuff, which all takes time. So, you know, you don't have to use it as a pure out and out speed level. If you want to take an hour out and. Um, like I said, if you want to take an hour out and uh, 
you know sort of do your professions you can but by using this guide you know at least you will find that um you'll level faster than if you didn't use it but that's what we're testing so like i said um at the end of this we'll see the time for both and how much difference it makes i mean i don't expect it to make a huge difference level one to ten um because there's only so much time you can shave off of anything you know um but i would think you know if you're talking about level one to 20 or level you know, one to 40 then those time differences are going to be bigger and bigger as you as you go up the levels because there's more um time you can shave off more shortcuts and so on I mean, there's fair, various parts of the guide you can buy. The first, um, uh, uh, what is it, 30 levels or so are free, so you can try it out first. It's not like you have to buy it. Just try it out and see how it works for you. Um, but then you can pay whoever you want, you know, to go from 1 to 60 or 60 to 70 or um, Alliance or Horde, you know, whatever suits you. Personally, I think it's just best to buy the package that includes everything. I mean, I, I will definitely be using this for all my levelling up over the next uh, few months for Burning Crusade. I mean, my Blood Elf Mage that I've recently made, I'm using this. Um, I'll probably level up a few other characters. As soon as I get into Outlands 60, 70, I'll be using this guide just so I can level them up. It's not just fast, it's also efficiently. I mean, here, as you can see, you know, it tells you to grind the XP. Once you've ground the XP, it's after, um, it will then tell you the next stage automatically. So it's very good it updates itself for you. Bless you. There you go. So um, now it's obviously telling us to, you know, do the hand-ins. Well met. You'll also find... Um, Unlike your natural instinct, which is, you know, when you hit sort of every two levels, you want to run off and get your training, or I normally do, I want to get my training straight away. Sometimes this one, you can almost be another level before it will tell you to do training. It will do everything in a big, efficient kind of loop for you. Life be with you. And it also does all your training. If you see there, the minute you click that you need your training, it knows what you should be training, so it just trains it all for you as well. It's the same with um, handing in quests and that. A lot of the time it'll auto hand in and pick up the next one um, automatically. So it's all about speed. Um, so, you know, like I said, first time around when I was coming over here, I was um, doing the normal one with the bandanas and then the Millie's Harvest and that. This one, um, you don't do Millie's Harvest. It's just too much of a time sink. So uh, this tells you specifically not to take Millie's Harvest quest. <laughs> Whacking away at the old uh, Defire Thugs. <clears throat> Again, as you can see, just uh, collecting the old bandanas. I mean, this is particularly easy as a paladin. You need something? See you around. Like I said, it's, the important thing is to always follow the arrow and follow the instructions in the top boxes. They tell you exactly what you should do when you should sell you stuff at? and where you should set your hearthstone to if it's relevant and stuff like that. Other than that, just get rid of all your trash. By the way, both of these um, paladins I haven't, they were both on a fresh server for me. Um, so that way I didn't send them any gear or anything like that to help them. So they're all literally self-sufficient, so it kind of gets everything done from the off. Um, obviously, on my Blood Elf Mage that I've made on the server that I've got other Horde characters, I'm able to you know, send it a bit of gear to wear and a bit of gold for levelling and stuff like that. For learning skills and whatever. Also, if there's quests that you really, really don't want to do, um, you know, you don't have to pick them up, you can just tick the box and it will just uh, move down to the, to the next step so you know you can kind of customize it a little bit if you if there's a quest you just hate just tick the box and move on 
because every now and again you'll come at these kind of stages where it will say grind until you know xp so hello there you go you don't take you don't take See that one news harvest you leave that alone So, you know, um, <clears throat> a lot of time it will tell you if you're on your way somewhere, you know, grind the mobs on the way. There we go, so this is what we're after. Old Garrick. Again, Paladin. Easy peasy, isn't he, really? So again, you know, you're told to uh, grind up to a certain amount of XP. So if you're told to do that, you just get on. Once you hit the XP that it's after, then the, the, the next stage does come up. But at least this way, um, you know, it kind of takes all the thinking out of it for you, really. You know you've suddenly got to stand there grinding, just stand there grinding. There we go, so you now we've hit the XP that we need, now it's telling us to go and um, handle the quest, so we don't have to faff about anymore, we can just get going. Can't carry anymore. Like I said, the main thing <clears throat> is to follow the arrow. I haven't had really any instances. I'm using it, like I said, on the Blood Elf Mage as well at the minute. I haven't had any major instances where the arrow's completely pointing in the wrong direction or anything like that. I suppose the only reservation I'd say is just make sure, you know, um, you do kind of look on your map once in a while. But it does mark where you're going on the maps as well. So it's all good. Hello. See you later. I mean, obviously, at this level, the gear's all junk, really. Uh, vendor most stuff. I put a few things on. Not too worried about the gear just yet. I mean, when I was leveling up my Blood Elf and I was questing in Ghostlands, it what did sort of say to me, um, when you get this rep, buy this cloak, or when you get this rep, you know, buy whatever. So it does advise you of things like that if it needs to. You go to trouble when you got your bags are full. I mean, like I said, I'm testing uh, both of these levels 1 to 10. So the first one, what was it, 2 hours, 24 minutes, something like that. Um, <clears throat> so obviously, we, if we can get under 2 hours, would be good. I think then, uh, now bearing in mind, we're only going level 1 to 10. Um, if people wanted it, or if you ask, I might then do levels 10 to How 20. That might um, show a bigger gap. Right, we're off running down to Goldshire. So, I mean, the main difference so far really is um, not doing Millie's Harvest. There we go, time to hand in some quests, pick up some quests. So I'm literally following this blindly. <clears throat> so even though there's things to do, I'm, I'm following it in the exact order it says here. It's telling me to train blacksmithing. So even though this isn't about professions, it knows that there's certain things you can do you in blacksmithing um, that will help 
you level up faster and that's um, obviously increasing the damage to your weapons. Running around I like an idiot there the really. Getting rid of the trash. For the Alliance. Well met. Light, light. You see there, it picks up the quest you hand in, it picks the quests up and so on. Does it all for you. Again, you just follow the arrow, follow the instructions in the top. It's all pretty, um, you know, just something? literally run out of the mill, do what you're told. How are you? Have a good one. Hello. Safe travels. So then it'll tell you to get your training and um, when you get your training, um, it'll do it for you. So everything's done. It's it's done for you to level quick. Greetings. So there we go. Obviously the old stone field. <coughs> well met. Up the quest from there. Farewell. I thought I'd pick that up. Obviously I didn't, so I have to go and get that again. Hello. Okay, so now there's, there's plenty of instructions what we need to do now, so we just follow the arrow. Here we go, just whacking those little cobalts. <clears throat> must a must way to cut your teeth on well, but after you know the gold dust, the candles. Again, as you gradually complete different parts, the instructions sort of next to the arrow will change slightly. Best thing as well. Um, it's not too intrusive. It shows you the information you need to know, but it's not too intrusive. Um, like I said, um, I'm, I'm very happy with it, and um, I'll be using it all the time now that I'm leveling. If anything, it actually makes me want to level more characters and see what other shortcuts it takes me on. There we go, little Billy McClure. You know, again, if you weren't aware of some of the quests around the area, at least the arrow points you literally right to them. It just leads you to the door, pretty much. Hello. You need something? I mean, of course, one thing that'd be nice when you're doing these quests, you know, when the uh, little six slot, slot bags drop is quite handy. But I mean, you know, let's be realistic. If you're leveling up a character and you've already got a main on this server anyway, chances are you'll be sending it gold, extra bags and so on. So you'd probably be doing it a lot quicker um, than I am. I mean, these are brand new characters. They both were brand new uh, with no help whatsoever. So that way it can give us a fair judgment of the time difference. As soon as we ding to level 10 on this, you know, we'll stop the clock, we'll do a played, and then we'll see what the time difference is. So back to the Stonefield farm. I 
again you know just follow the arrow um, <clears throat> that's the basic thing just keep following that arrow there you go it leads us exactly where we need what to go So again, we'll just go and hand these quests in very quickly. Hey there. There we go. Need help? Back into the mines we go now. See this one here, <clears throat> we're doing a few things at once, getting into the mines. And um, gold tooth, I think we're pretty much after gold tooth now. One thing with these mines, you do have to be a bit careful. Don't um, over pull them. Even as a paladin, it can be a bit tricky. through like I said just follow the arrow that's as simple as that follow the arrow follow the instructions you can't go wrong Just trying to pull him down here. I don't, don't want to run into all of those if I don't need to. I mean, we can do a couple at once. That's no problem. But we don't want to you know, do a couple and then a few more as well. Don't want to do four or five, that's for sure. Especially because we haven't sent any gear. Different if we'd sent some gear down to him. Gold tooth. <clears throat> That's what we came in for. I can't drink any more. I can't cast it. There we go. Loot them as fast as we can. As long as we get the necklace, we don't really care too much. Sometimes you can take it a little bit close, but again, you know, he's not geared, is he? Not geared at all. So again, just a case, follow the arrow, follow the instructions. That's the golden rule. Follow the arrow. Ah, can't speak. Follow the arrow, follow the, in the instructions. Hey there. Have a good one. Need help?
I mean, really, <clears throat> you know, some ways you could speed stuff up um, would be have the add-on that sells all your greys and things like that. So, you know, if, if you were really trying to um, sort of beat your mates and really speed level, you know, first thing you do is you what gear your characters, you put stuff in the post room from a main, you would um, you know, make sure you've got plenty of supplies on you, you would um, bag space, add-on for selling greys, I think you can have add-ons for looting faster and stuff like that. So, you know, you would be all, um, all set up with all of that. Um, for me, I wasn't using this to break any records, I was just using it to see can I level faster than that previous paladin, you know, at the beginning of this video. And that, that's purely the aim for me, can I level faster by blindly following this guide. Hello, see you around. You need something? Right, there we go. Again, just follow the arrow. Some more training, as you see, it'll do it for us. Light be with you. Go with honor, friend. I mean, you know, normally I just put them anywhere on me bars for now. <clears throat> Where I put them isn't too specific at the moment. And I'm certainly not for the course of this video. Like I said, I'm doing these both level 1 to 10 for a comparison. Remember, 1 to 10, um, even if this method is faster, it's not going to be hugely faster because, you know, there's only so much you can trim off the first 10 levels because they're quite quick anyway. Um, I think where you'll see a bigger advantage is as the levels get higher. You know, you'll trim off more and more time, I'm hoping, um, as the levels get higher. So I might be tempted to do something like carry on with both of these, level 10 to 15, and then compare how much time I save then, uh, and then maybe up to, you know, 20, and then again, see how much time we've hopefully saved. I think that's where you get the comparison, really. And then Looking the real for point specific. to me would be level 30, how much faster, and then level 60. And then once we're in BC, 60 to 70. I supply only the finest goods. I mean, I have got um, a link uh, to this add-on in the description. I've also got a link to my channels. Um, I stream on Twitch and I stream on Facebook. <clears throat> Blue Cat Gaming. So I'll put the links uh, below. So if ever you want to see me live stream. I mean, WoW's my passion and I do play and live stream WoW. But um, on Facebook, most of my streams are simulators. I do a lot of simulators. Farming sim and flight sim and bus sims and train sims. But um, when I'm not doing the serious stuff to simulators, I love, absolutely love World of Warcraft. Prefer classic over retail, that's for sure. But, you know, feel free to come and check us out at Blue Cat Gaming. <clears throat> We've got an amazing community, the Blue Cat crew. You're all welcome to come in and have a chat with us if you want. So at the moment, again, we're grinding some XP now, so we're just following the instructions and the arrow. If you're a paladin, at least you can heal yourself. So there you go, the instructions are changed a little bit now. So we're just going to follow those. See, again, when I was levelling up uh, the other Paladin, 1 to 10, we didn't do this bit <clears throat> at all. You know, I wouldn't have even thought of coming out here um, at such a low level. But um, again, when you're um, you know, using this guide, it's all about levelling fast. So there's some things on here that we wouldn't normally do or think of. So that's what it's about. So 
on their way to Lakeshire, would you believe? So here we go, the whole point here is to die. I mean, you can see they're red mobs, we wouldn't want to be fighting these yet anyway. So there you go. <clears throat> this is all, again, just to save time. That's the whole purpose of this, just to save time. If you're speed leveling, every second counts. I mean, obviously I'm not speed leveling, but I want to level fast. So there's a bit of a difference, but, you know, that's what this um, this guide is all about. It's about leveling fast. So we're coming over here to get the flight path. And there you go tells us to half stone back now so again this is all saving time what can i do for you here we go just follow the arrow and everything in what can i do for you and you're happy days ding happy days so what we're going to do is do a quick uh, play um, and then we're going to log off here and then compare the times. So there we go. One hour 55. So that was half hour faster than the other one. The other one was 224. This one was one hour 55. So literally between level one and 10, we saved half hour um, by following the instructions. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. In summary, normal leveling, 224, rested XP guide, 155. Remember, that's for me personally and my kind of play style. Um, so that's how much it saved me. But links are in the description. Um, you know, if you want to subscribe or anything like that, feel free. Um, but other than that, that's our um, addresses there for Facebook and for Twitch. And this is Martin Blue Cat Gaming signing off. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching.